<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome, Girl Gang. Nice to see you, everybody. Um, Listen, well, first, we're going to start with a little update about the intro, okay? The intro solution is in the works. Uh, I was all hyped to be able to play it. I'm still getting stupid. Oh, knack now the fucking shut up tabs. All right. I've gotten a couple of more claims since this morning when I was all hyped thinking it was solved, the the, the problem, whatever. But it doesn't matter. I'm like uh, counterclaiming them now. I have the license to the music. All is legit on our end. So it's just a waiting game until they like accept the counterclaim. I have, uh, anyway, all of the documents are there. Everything should be fine. So we'll just, uh, you know, we're going to wait a while. I just want to see a solution before we keep on pumping out the intro, you know, in the meantime, I'll make us some kind of like wintry intro just until this crap is solved. But that's the, the update on the intro. It's coming back. It is coming back. All right. It 100% is still copy free. You just need this license. Ba bam. We got the license. Anywho. Hi, everybody. Nice to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, listen, Chantal had uploaded her anniversary video. I'm sure you guys had seen and quickly, quickly privated the video. I happened to be sitting working on the computer. So when I got the notification, I uh, I grabbed the video right away. It's the reason that we have or the reason I have the original. Phew. Then as we're sitting here waiting to go live, she re-uploads like a new version of the video. She didn't just uh, unprivate the first one that she had put up. It's a new version of the video. How do I know that? Well, the original video was exactly 10 minutes long, 10 minutes exact. Okay. And the re-upload of this video is nine minutes and 57 seconds long. She literally like deleted something in there that was three seconds. So that becomes the question now, what the hell did she delete? So we're going to watch this one today. It's only 10 minutes long in reg like regular speed. All right. We're not speeding her up. We're going to have eagle eyes on this stream trying to find a three second segment of shame that she would have needed to delete. What could the reason be? Did, uh, I don't know, she show some, something she wasn't supposed to? Did, I, I, I don't know, she say something? Maybe that was like saying too much? I have no freaking idea. We're going to figure this one out together, all right? So it'll be eagle eyes, all of us watching this one. Uh, Lady Irnan, thank you so much for the super chat, girl. Thank you for being here. Hold on, I'm trying to get my side chat going. Why is this... Stupid thing that well now it's working. Uh, everything's off today. Serenity now. Could it be a fart? Lizzie, it could definitely be a fart. Did she flash some hair? Did she flash some skin? Did he maybe shimmy a little too cleavagey into the camera? Who the hell knows? I don't know. We're gonna find out together. That's for damn sure. So hers uh edit is up. We have the original. We can compare these. Uh, like we're, we're going to figure it out. If we don't figure it out during this stream, I'll, I'll pop them up on two freaking streams and play them side by side and find that missing three seconds. Kalari, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Uh, floppy titties could be. <laughs> Absolutely. Can I play both at the same time? I wouldn't even know how, unfortunately. Sorry. Sophie's scrapbook. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Thank you for being here, girl, but don't break your neck. Don't worry. Don't worry. You miss nothing, all right? Oh, not Chantal. <laughs> Love your picture. Thank you for the super chat. Um, Get her a bottle of gin and let the truth come out about the anniversary. Oh, God, if it were only that simple still, huh? Damn, the good old days. <laughs> Fed Nama, thank you for the super chat. <sighs> Salad had a beer at the table. Ba bam Is that what it is? Could it be as, well, simple as a beer? That's a big fucking ham move. Oh, shit. I am so fucking hyped now for this. Okay, Fed Nama. Good eye, girl. Desiree, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. Chug, chug. I'm, uh, no, guys, could he really have been drinking a beer? 
It was not a beer. All right. It was not a beer. Well, I just prematurely ejaculated all over that idea. It was not a beer. Okay. We will see. We will see. I, now I want to see. Is it a beer? Is it not a beer? What the hell are the three seconds? I don't know. Oh, her community post is so cringe. Should we start with that and like get the cringe over with? Rachel, thank you for the super chat. Let's do that before we get into the video. Uh, Hold on. Let me pull up her community tab. Community. Where is it? Here we go. NASA enhanced this. Oh my God. That picture is so bad. Like so, 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 so bad. Hi, guys. It's our one-year anniversary today. Habibi, you are an amazing husband. I want you to know that. Little kiss. I love you. People on Twitter talking about how fat he got in that picture. <laughs> and that's why he won't come on camera with her anymore. Definitely could be. We all saw how fucking weird he got about the floppy tits and birthing hips thing. He's already got, like, a complex about it. And now he's turning into a genuine fatty. Love that for him. Um, the pose. First, the pose is so fucking cringe. It looks like you've never touched a woman before in your life. And her, it looks like she's never been touched by a man before. Like, it, it, it's so awkward. And the way he's holding her immediately, like, I have a garburator dog. Okay, he'll pick up any shit on the street and stuff. I am always picking, like, bones out of his mouth and stuff. I laughed immediately when I saw this picture because this is me going after the dog. Drop it. What's in your mouth? <laughs> when we're outside and he's got, like grabbed a bone or some shit off the street. You know what I mean? Me with my hand like under the neck like that. Yeah, that's not how you touch your wife. That's how you fucking wrestle a dog for a freaking bone outside. Damn it. Astrofet, thank you for the super chat. Thank you for being here. Oh. How nice of Salad to hold her chins up. No. <laughs> that is really funny. Whose hand is that? Oh. It seems to me they're both his hands. Neither one is fat enough to be hers. I don't see a trotter in that picture. So they must both be his hands. That is just the most awkward pose I've ever seen in my life. Who taught you how to pose? And why is it so little body? Both of you fatties trying to like fat girl angle this fucking anniversary picture. It's hilarious. Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, girl. Uh, yes, FFG prying the dog's mouth open. That's the vibe. It's like, come here. What do you got? Drop it. <laughs> oh, the dog just looked over at me like, fuck, I got nothing. Leave me alone, bitch. With like a mouthful of toy. That's funny. Okay. Okay. Isabella, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. In the comments in the community tab, Salad called her husband's soulmate. Excuse me, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Let's get these comments open. Salad, where are you at? Where's your comment? Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. I'm scrolling. He called. No, no, no. The sweetie wife. There, there, can you see it on the screen? Okay, yeah. Habib T, my sweetie wife, you are my soulmate forever. <laughs> or, uh, you know, until he gets those fucking papers. Hilarious! Anywho, yes, the most awkward fucking anniversary picture? I, I don't know. I don't know. That, that was just fucking weird. Nobody's convinced. Two weirdos who have never had human contact before in their life, you know? Who poses like that? It's the weirdest fucking pose. Maybe she picked up something off the street and he's like, no, drop it. Maybe. Who knows? She would. Hmm. Trying to be a better Christian. Thank you for the super chat. It was my youngest. Oh, happy birthday to your youngest kid. That's great. Immigration. <laughs> you think that that's going to convince immigration? I don't think that's uh, working for immigration either. That's not working for anybody. Mm -mm. Kalari, thank you again for the super chat. How's your couple selfie making you look even fatter, right? Yeah. yeah. Good point. How is it making you look fat? They will find a way. <laughs> Love will find a way. <laughs> okay. Without further ado, let's get into this 10-minute wedding uh, anniversary extravaganza. 
Everybody, we need eyes. If you wear, get your glasses, get your fucking loops, get your binoculars, get whatever you got. All right, get your joints. Everybody, eyes peeled, okay? Three seconds of this stream was deleted. We got to find what the fuck did she delete? Hold on, let me get the tab. So today is mine and Chantal's one year anniversary. She doesn't know this actually, but I have two surprises for her. For the first one, I decided to take her out on a date night to a nice seaside restaurant. Yalla! So do you like your surprise so far, baby? Yeah, thank you, baby. It's so nice. We're here on the ocean and we're going to have shisha and food and I'm enjoying my anniversary with you so far. I'm glad to hear that, baby. <laughs> Look how nice everything is. The palm trees. And the beautiful angel here. Thank you, babe. This is what I'm wearing to our date. Oh, how nice. Same old, same old. Did she get a new outfit for the occasion? No. Did she ever have anything new at all? No. This is our date. This is our one-year anniversary date, except it's on the wrong date because our anniversary was apparently on the 6th of the month and today's the 11th of the month, but we can't keep anything fucking straight. All of the lies are just compounding now in her fucking head. That's why she had to delete the, the, the wedding video. That's why she deleted the community tab post about the date of the wedding. doesn't matter. It exists in the archive. We went back last night. We looked on, on, on this channel. We reacted to the wedding video on the 6th, November 6th last year. That means she was either married on the 6th or the 5th and put it up, right? Benefit of the doubt. We'll say it was on the 6th and we reacted day of. Fine. It was the 6th. Today's the 11th. Why are they not able to keep even a date straight? Most people, and we know most people is Chantal when it comes to this. She has waited her whole life to wear that hideous ring and have this hideous husband and, and all this bullshit. The, the date of her actual marriage is burned into her brain. There's no way she forgot or fucked it up or she's five days off. No, 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 no. It's all the lies. They don't even know what to say. Olga, thank you for the super chat. She, okay, wait, I'm sorry. I'm going back just as the camera pans and then it gets to her. Wait, it's already at her fat face. She looks like an intensely obese fly as the camera like panned over. It was like, bzzz. <laughs> bzzz. This is your fucking anniversary video panning over to that hideous beach in the dark. We see nothing. No one cares to see it anyway. It's a 10 minute video. How much panning into the ugly beach are we going to have to look at? Damn it, man. Yeah, the sad music and stuff. It's just ridiculous. Aurélie, thank you so much for the super chat. Whoa, the waves is coming, guys. So it's a good luck for us here. Right, baby? Yes. So nice. You always bring me a good luck, anyway. <laughs> Love you. Love you too, honey. Be puke. Oh, hello, guys. Just enjoying my time with my love here in this. Okay, okay. I'm going on a side rant and I'm going to have to rewind for a second here. Okay, th this is such a, a personal little pet peeve of mine. I cannot stand when people make videos and like you're filming and, and he films these things like five, six, ten times until he gets it just right. And you pretend like you didn't know the camera like, oh, like, there's this guy. He's from Montreal. Okay, this is like 
everyone who knows me in my personal life knows the, the intense beef that I have with this man. He has a channel. It's called Capitaine Montréal, okay? I hate this guy with every fiber of my being, but I love the idea of his channel because it's all about my city. And he sometimes makes videos with this other fucking guy. And I love the other guy. I wish he could just like take over the damn channel. Anyway, what is my entire reason for hating the guy who owns the channel? He starts almost every single fucking video looking away from the camera. And then he looks over and he goes, oh, vous êtes là, bonjour. Like, oh, you're there, hello. And it makes me want to smash whatever fucking screen I am watching him on every goddamn week. Uh, he's now blocked me on YouTube, on every YouTube account that I have, like my Percy account, French Ride Girl. Uh, Frenchie de Frenchie Tabarnak, I am blocked in every way that you can be blocked because I kept going and leaving him the same comment on every video. I would write, Oh, vous êtes là? Bonjour. Fucking Malacca blocked me everywhere. I hate this man with a passion, and Salad just did the same fucking thing. Why? Oh. Hello guys, just enjoying my time with my love here in this room. Smash you! I, I want to go and just push him over into the water right now. Oh my god. Why is that the most obnoxious thing that anybody can do for me? I can't. I can't. I can't. My my hands are sweaty. I'm so angry. No, Gucci Gang Gamer Girl, I can't stop watching him. I can't. I love the channel. I just fucking hate the guy so much. I'm on the place. In a wonderful time we are having. <laughs> you chose a very good place, babe. You're welcome, honey. My pleasure. Mm. By the way, I bet you're gonna like it. Oh yeah, you know me. <laughs> and I love the towers, and you can see the towers in the background. I love it. Imagine being on your fake anniversary date and you're wearing a goddamn microphone. You're also wearing what seems to be like a lot more clothes than usual. I've seen a lot of theories going by that he may have ringworm marks like on his arms or some shit. And that's what he's trying to cover up. It makes sense. I'm also wondering, is that possibly the three second segment that she deleted? Maybe at a certain point you could see one of the spots or something and she had to fucking pull that out. Who knows? Our drinks have arrived. So I got barbecue. Okay, yeah, that is definitely not a beer. That's a barbican. So not a beer. Confirmed. Can. How about you, love? I got a Perrier water with lemon. Soda water, as usual. <laughs> she like it. I love it. He loves to fill my drink, so. <laughs> she will that's not chivalrous. That's fucking obnoxious. You're in the middle of filling your own drink. Then there's a cut. Now he's holding the Perrier filling your cup. What did he tell you? Like, stop, stop. Let me do it. It's more anniversary. Like if I fill your cup, that is so weird. And yeah, water as usual, bitch, where? Bitch, where? Just because it has bubbles in it doesn't make it water. Okay, I know that as I sit here swigging my Coke Zero. No, 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 no. Since when? Water as usual. He's so full of shit. If I was pouring my own drink and some dipshit man was like, no, no, let me do it and goes to grab the bottle out of my hand, I might knock him upside the head with the fucking bottle. He is not dead. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that true? Perrier is owned by Nestle? Ah! How's that boycott going, assholes? <laughs> I love that so much. Golden Goddess of the Geeks, thank you for the super chat. She would. So, and here's our food. I got kebab here. And uh, my love got a shrimp, fried shrimp. Yes. With French fries, you know. <laughs> so we're going to enjoy our dinner now and see you later. This is so awkward. This is supposed to be an anniversary. Because she's never, ever had an anniversary, um, she doesn't know how awkward this seems. <laughs> 
She gets so mad when we point out how there's no chemistry between them and this is clearly a marriage of convenience, but done in such a dumb way where she didn't even make any money and stuff. Um, she gets so mad when we point it out. Chantal, here's another perfect example of the zero chemistry between you two fucking freaks. Okay. It is what it is. You are two fucking freaks. He's a fucking freak and you're a fucking freak. You're the dumbest freak walking this planet because I've never heard of anybody else doing a marriage of convenience where they didn't make them any money to think you're sitting there still on your two bankruptcies and that fucking 11 grand owned on the hoopty. You are in another country, hopefully in his mind, making somebody else papers and you didn't pay for it. You didn't get paid you're probably supporting this anniversary dinner and stuff. It is the most embarrassing thing. Oh my God. You can't even marriage of convenience, right? You can't even fake chemistry. And Lord knows this fucking useless idiot can't either. At least Koki was real good at faking it with her. Mm -hmm. Caroline, thank you for the super chat. As usual, there are no people. Where does the people? It's propaganda. Yeah, anniversary turds. Those are like the meat poops I was talking about yesterday. The zuzukias. So after we finish the food, now it's shisha time. Right, babe? Right, babe. Mixed fruits. I hate this. This is your anniversary. Oh my God. You know what she should have done if I was her in this situation, what I would have done? I wouldn't have made a video about it. And I would have come back tomorrow and lied about it. Oh, we had such a great anniversary. No, 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 I don't care. Tell us a fucking story. Make some shit up. Don't show us the reality of it because this is so fucking pathetic. So fucking pathetic. Chantal, the nerve of this woman to sit there talking about everybody else's life and where's your boyfriend? Where's your husband? Where's your this and that? Girl, where's your chemistry? It's over a year now. You know, the weird thing is, even if they're not fucking, even if they're not whatever, anything together, just knowing each other for a year at this point and like being close like that, they should have at least like a, like a rapport between them. You should, you know what I mean? Like maybe jokes between them or something fucking between them, if not a sexual tension, there is nothing. It still feels like it's the first week that these two idiots know each other. You know, it's weird. So what flavor are you smoking, hon? Actually, it's watermelon with mint. Ooh. Yeah, it's a new one. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, honey. You too. So how's the future with you, baby? Very smooth. I love it. I love the fruits. Mm, that's cool. <laughs> Not for nothing. Like I'm not, I'm not even kidding. I would rather off myself than live in the situation she's in right now to be sitting at that table with that fucking floppy tit, hideous fucking robot and stuff. I swear to God, I would rather throw myself into the ocean. like beach waves ASMR. Back to filming fuck all again. So relaxing. So baby, what do you rate the restaurant? I don't have any complaints, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Whoa, I'm so glad that you like it. Yes, thanks for bringing me here. Anytime, honey. Food lit mid ambiance was non-existent there was no people there hideous view yeah i rate it 10 and did you see the weird look she gives him you're such a loser chantal fucking pick me ass bitch but you're fake married one year you don't have to act like such a goddamn pick me anymore you know what i mean 
Nah, I gave you the 10. You're such a loser. I need a new word. Loser doesn't even cut it for this one. Fucking. What do you call the pick me who's already wearing the hideous ring? There's no need. She's so used to being a pick me her whole goddamn life. She doesn't even know how to behave any other way. Huh? Um, M. Kuznetsova, thank you for the super chat. Not the porn acting. Porn acting is better than this acting. Astro Fat, thank you for the super chat. That's right. Where's the family? First anniversary is a big deal, but you know, the marriage was supposed to be a big deal too. Family wasn't there for that. Where's the gifts? Where's the gold? Where's the sisters? Where's this like soutien familial? Where's the any fucking thing? They are against this shit. Just like any normal ass family would be, you know? God. Can you imagine? Can you imagine you've got a 20 something year old son slash brother? You go to meet his prospective wife, and there is a fucking rhinoceros coming down a hall at you, Folly, making every wall rattle in your home. Things are like dishes are clanking together and stuff. And you're like, you look over at your brother slash son or whatever, and you're like, are you fucking kidding me right now? We don't allow pets in this house. Get your heifer outside, bitch. Oh, I'm so happy that Chanta liked the surprise. Anyway, the first surprise down and the second one to go. Let's go. And here's the second surprise for Chantal. The f you fucking halfwit, like <laughs> loser ass. Oh my, I have two surprises for Chantal. You bought your wife a pretty cheap looking <laughs> bouquet of flowers for your first year anniversary together. And this is like a surprise. You're like flexing on a video that you bought. Look, okay, okay. I'm sorry to shit on his flowers, but most of the flowers in that bouquet are fucking filler. Okay, I count one, two, three, four red roses, three yellow roses, and the rest of that whole bouquet is fucking garbage. It is what it is. I love all flowers. I'm not trying to be that bitch, but I am going to be that bitch. When you're living in the fourth richest country in the world, you're trying to act like you got a pot to fucking piss in and a, I don't know, a dollar in your goddamn pocket, and you buy your wife a bouquet of filler shit for your one year anniversary and have the audacity to flex on, look at the surprise. You are such a loser, such a massive fucking loser. I don't even know what to say to that. I buy myself nicer flowers than that on the regular. You know, Costco has a really nice flower section for no reason at all. A lot of times I'm just, I'm like rolling by with my thing and I'll see a bouquet and I'm like, ooh, and I get that, you know what I mean? Um, they're nicer than the bouquet he buys for his wife on their one year anniversary. What? A fucking loser. Flower bouquet is ready. Let's go. Babe, can you come here and keep your eyes closed until I tell oh you, okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Don't peek. I have a surprise for you. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you exciting? <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Ta-da! <laughs> Is it? Open your eyes. No! Oh my goodness! No! <laughs> First of all, why did he flick the lights on? He had lit all those candles. The idea is it to stay in the dark. Why is she acting so surprised? The overacting is so pathetic. She thought there was going to be something good. <laughs> this is massive disappointment. I love it. She's a horrible actress. She really thought, he set this up so big, she thought there was going to be something really good on that table. She opens her fucking eyes. There's some like fucking gas station ass looking bouquet, uh, bouquet of flowers and a few little tea lights on the table. And now she has to fake it. Oh my God, babe. No, for me. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> Ah, this is the dumbest shit I have ever seen in my fucking life. I I'm sorry. I need to watch this reaction again. Oh, God. I'm going to watch this video again after. <laughs> when this is done, I'm watching this one all again. Uh, can I just watch her fake overreacting one more time? This is so bad. Keep in mind. Okay. She probably thought there was some, like, gold, like, I don't know, a gold necklace or something. Something very... Kuwait on that table. He set this up way too big. 
Okay. Three, two, one. Para. What is it? Open your eyes. No. Oh my goodness. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh! What is this? Trying to act like fucking pretty woman when Richard Gere opens the fucking necklace box <laughs> and he slams it on her. Bitch, you get no necklace. Enjoy your shit flowers. Stop. Surprise! Oh my gosh! It's beautiful. <laughs> you lit all these candles? Yeah. <laughs> All for you, honey. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Your flowers, Habib Oh my gosh, let me see these. Oh, First time she ever got flowers in her life that her mom didn't buy her, I guarantee you. They're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. I love you, honey. I love you, Hayati. God! All right, I'm going to read this card, my favorite part. <laughs> Go ahead. Let's see. Oh, I love you in like a whole bunch of languages. Happy anniversary, Salon Chantal equals a heart. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, Shannon, you're in the chat. Oh my God, I saw, wait, I saw Shannon go by. Yes, Shannon, Shannon, is that her handwriting? Shannon, did she write this card to herself? She wrote this card to herself. Tell me she wrote this. Shannon, lie to me if it's not her handwriting. Please, please tell us. <laughs> she either wrote this out to herself or she dictated like how to spell it to him. 100%. Oh, this is amazing. I love this so much. This is the worst video ever. This is the worst anniversary of all time. She wrote that. I choose to believe that too. That's so sweet, baby. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Shannon says, I mean, kind of looks like. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Shannon. I choose to go with that. She bought her own flowers and filled out her own card. <sighs> Okay, what's in the red box? Okay, the red box. Check the box. It says, I love you. Made with love. Dip and dip. All right. It's food? Dip and dip it's is going to be food? tasty if it's from dip and dip. Oh my God. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> <laughs> Happy anniversary. What a cute little cake. It's so pretty. Okay, that's funny and cruel at the same time. I'm, I'm here for this little cake. He buys his death fat wife a cake as an anniversary present. That's funny enough. Like, I hate you. Happy anniversary. But if you look at it on the other end, he buys his death fat wife a single serving cake. <laughs> I will portion control your cake. Happy anniversary, Hefa. She's so mad right now that that's a small cake. Like, she wants an entire cake for her. Bite size. Perfect for both of us. Happy oh, stop. Perfect for both of us. He's not even going to get a sniff of that fucking cake. We all know that. Quartz, thank you for the super chat. I'm so glad you got it. Thank you, baby. Hi, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor is it? Guess. Ha! Vanilla. No, it's red velvet. I love red velvet. Yeah, I know. Oh. Look at the little dainty pieces she's taking, girl. Stop it. Okay, babe, so how about a beauty bite? Yella. You will love it, I know. 
love it. I know Yag's food. Good guess. <laughs> you really know her oh so well. And she fake eye rolls back. She's so angry that the cake is really small. Like, what kind of a fucking anniversary is this? <laughs> Why did he even spend the money on flowers? He could have just bought me a bigger cake. Tay, Ozzy, thank you for the super chat, girl. So good. Oh, my God. Look at this adorable cat, guys. Oh. <laughs> oh, she got Max. She's very, very matted. Maybe this is the three seconds she deleted. That cat on her belly, all those mats were just visible. Oh, boy. She's cute AF. Cute, cute, cute cat. <laughs> <laughs> Look how she looked. <laughs> she flipped herself. Hi. What's your name? Are you cute? Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, guys, we just want to share with you a part of our anniversary celebration. So I hope. Wait, wait. Kimmy, thank you for the super chat. Every time I hear Salad's voice, it's like my body re-remembers how much I ate him. Agreed. Agreed. And we haven't had to see him for a while. He's chunky. And I love that knockoff uh, Louis Vuitton hat he's wearing. It's, it's very, very nice. Ah! I just want to take this down. Let's get a look at that room. What? I'm thinking, is there something in the background she's trying to hide from us? Is it? I, I still can't figure out. We've come to the end. What would they would have deleted? But you got to go back with a fine tooth comb and watch the other one. Is it really, a, I don't know, a mark from a ringworm on him? Is it the mats on the cat? Is that God only knows? The cokey cactus. Yeah, look at them. They're sitting. He's in the background going, propaganda. Look at my body. Ah, it's so fucked. The card. You think it's the card? It could be the card. Hmm. FFG, do you think they banged after... Unless she went and fucked a cake. No, that's the only thing that maybe got banged. Ba did they bang after? Bang what? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, guys, and see you in the next one. Yes, I had such a wonderful day. Thank you, baby. You deserve it, honey. Aww, I love you. I love you, too. And also, maybe, Julia, want to say something? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> look, look how she look at you. <laughs> Yeah, that cat just looked over at her like, shut the fuck. That cat is all of us right now. <laughs> Pretty girl. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Julia. <laughs> Good hey, morning. Hey. Ah, shut up. Anything to make it 10 minutes long. Pet the cat for a few seconds. Anything to make it 10 minutes long. How pathetic. Wait. The music is the same too? Ooh, this is really a thinker. What the hell did they delete three seconds of? It's so weird. She who shits herself. Thank you for the super chat. Now there are two people having some intense sexy times. Hell yeah. Totally agree. You can just feel it between them. This right here, the way she's sitting with her head on him and stuff, this is the most action she's had since arriving in Kuwait a year ago. Uh-huh. Absolutely. No BS. Thank you for the super chat. The elevator music is their fake relationship. Perfect then. <laughs> Do Hickey. Thank you for the super chat. When the moon hits your high note. <laughs> the saxophone prawn music. Uh-huh. The super tight abaya. Yeah, but at this point, I mean, that's every day. <laughs> we don't see her deleting that. I still, I, I don't know. I'm going to watch the other one. I want to press, I want to like put them both on my computer and press play, play. Oh my God, I'm talking like Kogi. I want to press play. I want to press play at the same time on both and see what the F is the three seconds. It's killing me now. It's not for nothing. Why the hell would she delete that? I can't figure it out. Cherry Blossom Mo uh, Mocha, thank you for the super chat. The whole wedding out of... Yes, 
A wedding anniversary for a fake marriage is always going to be cringe. These two weirdos make anything even more cringe. She wanted at least a pin size cake. Yeah, you know, like one of those sheet cakes that you'd get like as a kid at the kids' birthday parties because there's like 75 fucking people there. She wants one of those. That right there is an anniversary cake. Uh huh. And to not have to share it with him. Uh -huh. Rachel, thank you for the super chat. He has definitely aged in this year. Yes, he has aged. He has gotten fat. He's got no tan as if he never goes outside anymore. He, his face looks like fuck my life. You know what I mean? Good. He deserves it. Stupid ass. Hmm? That's what happens when you want to ride somebody's ass to a new country instead of getting up and figuring out your own way. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it. I love it. Wasting all these years going to look like even more like shit and floppy at the end of all this and no papers. Aged from 35 to 36 could be. Uh, AstroFet, thank you again for Super Chat. Jesus fucking Christ, my husband is now threatening to take me to a Kuwaiti beach for our next anniversary. No. No. Will he buy you a bouquet of carnations and baby's breath? Because, you know, is it really an anniversary without a shit bouquet? I don't know. Wonder if she got him that fake hat. Yes. It's very much giving the, um, remember the, the, like the outfits, the sweatsuits that she, she got for Koki at the outlets. Uh-huh. It's giving, it's giving fake is what it's giving. A fake Louis Vuitton cap in the fourth richest country in the world is what it's giving. AS, thank you for the super chat. Wait. Okay. Big plug, Chris Chan out of jail, channel up. Okay. <laughs> Kalari, thank you for the super chat. They eat and act like toddlers. Yeah, they do. They really, really do. Hmm. Bootleg Louis Vuitton. Hell yeah. For the full body shot of her in the couch really showed how big she is. Maybe that's what she deleted. <laughs> I'm still going nuts trying to figure out what the hell did she delete. We're going to end this. Anyway, I have a little work to get back to because I stopped what I was doing to go live and do this. Uh, uh, I'm going to watch them both. I'm going to put it on like, you know, like the computer screen, like two. Split it. Split screen or whatever. I'm going to watch them both. I'm going to press play at the same time and see what the fuck is the three seconds. That is, if Kiwi Farms hasn't already figured it out, they probably figured it out an hour ago. Shroot Farms, thank you for the super chat. This is the first time I've seen them eat together since being back home. Same. Same. Yeah. This is the first time I've seen him on camera with her like that since being back home, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ice Cube Canadian. Beesh. Thank you for the super chat. Love how she looks at him like he's uh, like she's about to eat three Nashies. Hell yeah. She'd rather have three Nashies than this bullshit, but she'll never admit that. <sighs> ringworm flavored shisha no maybe she deleted a fart could definitely be a fart who wants to ruin their fake anniversary uh video with a fart right <laughs> so unladylike of her and she's just so dainty can't ruin it okay anyway so that's the mystery this is the version she deleted it is like i said exactly 10 minutes long exactly the one she re-uploaded is nine minutes and 57 seconds. My mission tonight is to find that three seconds and figure out what the fuck did they delete it for? There, there has to be something. BM, thank you for the super chat. It's an Egyptian restaurant. Server speaks Egyptian. That's really interesting considering he picked the restaurant. If it was her that had picked, you'd be like, oh yeah, because she won't stop thinking about Koki, you know, but he picked the place. Interesting. Um... Yeah, no, it's not. Uh... I don't know. That is really fucking weird. Please post three seconds on the community tab. Can you post a video on a community tab? I'll post it to the channel and I'll put it on the community tab. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can on the community tab put up a video. Deidre, thank you for the super chat. He can't even fake love her, right? That's right. And he's too bad of an actor to fake love her the way Koki did. Wow. They both think about Koki. <laughs> Maybe. Egyptian cuisine is fire. Agreed. Agreed. I love all North African food. It's so bomb. Middle Eastern food. I love it. Love. I, I think I prefer a little bit the North African just because of the spice factor you throw in there, but delicious. Um, Miss Old Soul, thank you for the super chat. She answered a comment on a video and said I was obsessed with her puss. 
because I pointed out the obvious that she wasn't getting anything, not even as a great friend. She, she's obsessed with the puss. You become obsessed when, you know, it's all you can think of because it's getting no action. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that, you know? She's the one obsessed with her puss, everybody else's puss, and what everybody else is doing with theirs because she knows she ain't doing anything at all with hers. That's a shame. <laughs> uh, Echo Aris, thank you for the super chat. Shout out to Salad's fake Louis Vuitton baseball cap. Yup, totally. What a horrible fake too, you know? Well, 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 look who it is. Me, Marie, wifey number three. Thank you for the super chat. Nice to see you, girl. So cringe. Girl, we were doing the retro react this morning and I came across one of your comments in the chat and it was like, remember when you used to like, <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, my little croissant. <laughs> I laughed so hard. I was thinking about you this morning. Nice to see you, girl. Hope you're having a great weekend so far. She can't even pleasure herself. That's the best part. Imagine not getting any and you also can't reach. <laughs> not that she really cares. Not that she really cares. She wants the man. She doesn't care about the sex. You know what I mean? But still, the, the, to think those blue fupa balls could just grow and grow and there was nothing you can do to like get yourself off. Mm. <laughs> Love that for her. She truly does deserve it. Uh, Ash and Fire, thank you for the super chat. Carnations are funeral flowers. Yes, changed my mind. Every funeral I've ever been to is full of them. So cheap and stupid. I also think of carnations as funeral flowers. I think of carnations as like the, the flowers. I, I want to say the flowers we gave each other when we were like little, little kids. But I'm thinking when I was like 16, like I got roses. You know what I mean? But yeah, like in, in another world, if I didn't have such a... because Okay, my little boyfriend at the time when I was a kid was a spoiled fucking brat. He really was. In another world, if he hadn't been such a spoiled little punk, you know what I mean? The, it would have been fucking carnations too. It's very juvenile. It's very like broke or slash very funerally. Yeah. Uh, Frenchie, do you think that Chantal has seen Koki's new video calling her out? Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't think she misses a, a word on that channel, just like she doesn't miss a word over here. Certain channels she will always follow very, very closely, but you'll have to pretend like she didn't see what's going on over there. You remember what happened? She was already in Kuwait and we caught her in his chat and stuff. It became a whole fucking thing. She's got to pretend like she doesn't know. Hmm? And if she gets mad enough and she wants to address it, it'll become somebody sent me over some information, you know? Uh-huh. Tell Larry, thank you again for the super chat. Ancestral side eye. That's so funny. She's huge. Can she walk? She can waddle a little bit. Oh, Louis Vuitton does support Israel. Interesting. Add it to the list of her failed boycott. I love it. BM, thank you for the super chat. Il a acheté des fleurs pour nourrir sa vache. Yup. She's like, she's like a, a grass fed. <laughs> One of those organic fucking cows. <laughs> that message said, he bought flowers to feed the ca his cow. You know, fuck yeah, he bought flowers to feed his cow. She's like, oh, they smell so nice. He leaves the room. He looks back in. She's gnawing on the fucking uh, baby's breath. You know, yep, very Chantal thing to do. Mm hmm. Uh, Karina, thank you for the super chat. She thought there was gonna be a real proposal. Oh fuck, do you think that's what she thought? <sighs> oh no. Kimberly Ann, yes, they were both wearing their wedding rings. I, I looked for that. I thought maybe that's why she deleted. Nope, they were both there. Beach Beauty, thank you for the super chat. I got a diamond pendant for my first wedding anniversary. Foodie Beauty got gas station flowers. Wah, wah. <laughs> that is so fucking sad. I love that. And keep in mind, again, I'm going to keep harping on that. She's the one who insists that this guy makes a shit ton of money and can take care of her. And they are living in the fourth richest country in the world. God damn it. Where's the gold? Where's the gold? You are in the culture of draping the wives in gold. Where's your gold? I love it. Oh, that's just, it's so awesome. <laughs> Button Captor, thank you for the super chat. To be fair, even fake is probably the nicest she's had. You're right. How sad is that, eh? Ah, but that, you know, that's what it is. That's why you gotta, you gotta live 
you got to live, man. <laughs> so you don't get to 40 years old, this desperate, zero life expect uh, experience, thinking that, I just said zero life expectancy. <laughs> well, that was a 40 and slip. Uh, zero experience uh, and thinking that this is all just normal and this is how it's supposed to be and this is what love looks like. She thought the box was a ring. I also think she bought, thought the box, maybe not a ring, it's too large to be a ring. Uh, I was thinking like, I don't know, a bracelet, a, a necklace, something gold and something gaudy, you know? West Coast Girl, thank you for the super chat. It looks like a different apartment. Does it? I didn't even catch that at all. I, I'm t I, I can get behind the idea that they moved to a different unit in the same building, that the whole argument the other day with like how loud the traffic was and stuff, it makes perfect sense to me. I think they look very similar. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's a great theory though. I got to go back and look. Everyone's been saying that. Yeah. Since, since the honking the other day, yes, the traffic noises, it was specific the other night, the honking and the honking. We've never heard honking that loud from how high up they were before, apparently. So the theory is that they, they're still in the same building. The unit is it's very close to the other unit, let's say, in looks, but they're much lower down. I don't know. Maybe the elevator broke and I don't know. She couldn't fucking hang. So they had to move way lower down. Who the hell knows? Maybe the rent is lower. It is here, right? The lower you live in a building, like if you're living ground floor, like on the first floor, like you're paying less rent than somebody living up in the sky. Liz, thank you for the super chat. Is that a box of chicken with the flowers? She would have been happy if it was. Can we NASA enhance? No, it's just a visual. There's, a, I don't think there's NASA enhancing to do. Uh, I want the still of when she's freaking out in the living room when he flips the light on. And just go back and find that living room in another video. You know, let's see. But they might be the same. I don't know. You ever lived in an apartment building and every unit is kind of the same? I have. Just saying. Who knows? Yeah, they move every few months. It would it would fit. One bedroom. Oh, yeah. Money's tight. Yeah, yeah. Maybe now he just sleeps in the living room. That makes sense. That would make sense. Uh, the green semen in Chantal's throat. Thank you for the super chat. That's the only time she's bent over that couch. abso fucking lutely And she already broke it. <laughs> That's why she can't be bent over a couch. She breaks the couches just looking at them. Fuck. Caleb, thank you for the super chat. Amber Lynn's birthday surprise was more believable. Yup. Yup. Amber's a better actress than this dumbass is. And that's saying something because Amber sucks at acting. Alicia, thank you for the super chat. I'm so angry. Today is my wedding anniversary. We got married 11, 11, 11. And now this heifer just ruined my night. Why would she ruin your life? Why would you let this heifer ruin your life? Enjoy your genuine uh, anniversary with your genuine husband and cackle like a witch when you think back to this fake fuckery and uh, all her lies that she can't keep straight. <laughs> I love that. That's a really good anniversary date too. I'm all about ones. I have a thing with the number one, 11, 11, 11. Perfect. Uh, Pharaoh girl, thank you for the super chat. She got better cake in Cuba. Ah, hey, oh, yes. The insult cake that she didn't understand was an insult. I love that. I loved watching it in real time and watching the realization hit her of the insult that that cake was. That was hilarious. Oh, man. Good times. Courtney, thank you for the super chat. I know very well this man is trolling her and us. Hope so. Hope so. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Raven Lunatic, thank you for the super chat. FFG, I sent you two emails. I think the second one is the one about Koki. Okay, girl, I will check it uh, after the stream for sure. And I, I got some work to get back to, like I said. Addicted to Cold Rubiche, thank you for the super chat. She did get a better cake in Cuba from the stranger and it was an insult just like tonight's cake was. It's amazing. People use cakes to insult her. <laughs> that's pretty damn funny. I don't know. I think it is funny. Cake is your vice and they're using your vice to fucking insult the shit out of you. That's good. Miss Movie Buff, thank you for the super chat. What a pathetic anniversary video. What a pathetic anniversary video for such a pathetic fake anniversary for such a pathetic fake marriage. At least it fits, you know. Bambi, thank you for the super chat. The only thing that was fucked was the cake. Agreed. 100%. She face fucked the shit out of that cake, and it's the only thing I got nailed on that night. 
Mm -hmm. Astro Fat, thank you again for the super chat. No aubergine surprise for her, but that's no surprise, is it? She would have been shot. Oh my God, the lights turn on. She opens her eyes. He's standing there nude, flopping his aubergine around. That would have made her whole ass life. <laughs> ah, can be good question. FFG, so what did you rate this video? I rate this video a six out of 10. It's getting a high mark tonight because it made me really laugh, cackle like a witch. Uh, it's it's hilarious how awful and embarrassing it was. This was this was for the people. She did this one for us. <laughs> six out of ten. Blood clot. Thank you for the super chat. Look at bitch tits with his fake Louis Vuitton hat. Yup. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times for the people. Yes, she did it for the people. This was propaganda, but I'll take it. What? <laughs> I still don't get why he turned the lights on. I know. It's like candlelight used to. Because he's never had like a romantic evening. He's never lit a candle like that. It's There's nothing like sexual about this. He's so weird. Ugh. Maybe maybe he was scared in the dark. She might like, oh, like slip a hand like backwards. Maybe she's always trying to grab at his like nuts or something. Who knows? She's a freak. T.S. Yum Top. Thank you for the super sticker. I appreciate it. She didn't get him a gift? Nope. No, nope. No, she did not. No. Nope. But she shared that tiny little cake. Maybe that'll count as his gift. <laughs> but she also probably paid for her own gift. So what's she going to pay for both of the gifts? I don't fucking think so. Uh, Tay Ozzy. Uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry. Tay Ozzy. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. I'm going to look. I'm going to see. See if we can figure it out. Watch it, it'll be like a little fucking nothing. I'm going to feel so dumb. <laughs> we will see. Although it can't really be too much of a nothing. It was too much of a nothing. Her lazy ass would never have bothered re-editing and uploading it. P.O. Claptra, thank you for the super chat. She can't reach this why She has the cactus. Ew, no. No, and I mean, yes. Not only she's got the cactus to reach, but the cactus reminds her of the last one who did reach. Look at my body, you know? Ah. T.S. Yom Tov, thank you again for the super chat. Uh, <laughs> hang on, I need to call oh, come again. What is this? Ontario, your weed is going to kill me. Ooh. Uh, buddy31, thank you for the super chat. Don't forget her hysterectomy. She doesn't even want boogie time for it. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. She's like almost like a non-sexual, but she loves the validation of a man wanting her and men want sex. So she, I don't know, fakes the sex I, I, you know, I don't know how, how to even explain that, but it's the vibe that I get. Uh, Deidre, thank you again for the super chat. Well, Frenchie, where's your fake husband? He, he's... <laughs> <laughs> non-existent. Nobody wants an ugly ring or a Hades. You know what? <laughs> no, I'm not going to be that bitch. But yes, I am going to be that bitch. Who needs a fake husband when you, the boyfriend gets you nicer flowers than this heifer got for her one year wedding anniversary? Uh, who needs a husband useless when your boyfriend already has his fucking Canadian citizenship? You know what I mean? Fuck a husband. That's just fucking paperwork if you want to break up. I'm not down. Feral girl, thank you for the super chat. That's what everybody's supposed to do. Not only on your first anniversary, but in the lead up to it, that whole first year, you're barely supposed to come up for air. These two have never, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or is he 35? Sounds more realistic. Mm -hmm. They lie. Caroline, thank you again for Super Chat. I don't think they ate at the restaurant. What? I don't think they ate at that restaurant. Really? Huh. What? Where'd the food come from, though? Or what? You mean like they filmed one place and then went somewhere else to eat, and that's what they were actually filming? Whoa. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. That's. I guess I'll have to go back and look. That's crazy if that's what they did. Holy shit. Uh, F oh, God. Epiphilium? I'm sure I fucked that up. I'm so sorry. Thank you for the super chat. She thought it was a bottle of lube and sexy coupons. Oh my God. She would have loved that. 
She would have fucking loved that so much. That would have made her whole damn life. <laughs> he couldn't even fake love her. Loving and caring. Thank you for the super chat. I went from a two carat diamond ring to a four carat on my first anniversary. Damn. Maybe that's what she was waiting for. Some Something. Just something. She wants a thing. She wants a thing to flash in our faces. You know what I mean? Maybe she did think she was going to get a diamond or something. Ah, who knows? What a loser. <laughs> Dreaming Fool 2, thank you for the super chat. Uh, her man spreading on that couch. Surprise, the Barracuda Cottage Cheese Poopa Queen didn't blow the candles out. Ew. <laughs> They're so awkward, the two of them. I hate it. <laughs> Why is the lube out? Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Crack at Olympics, man. <sighs> this crap makes me miss Crack at Olympics even more. Uh, bad seed implies it was a fart she deleted. Definitely could be. Sounds very Chantal. P.O. Clapter, thank you again for the super chat. I'm sure the construction work is all Chantal's fault. They needed to fortify the foundation and redistribute the weight to a lower apartment. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh. She was bitching about a ticky talk ring issue. Okay. He can't fake love her because he doesn't have access to meth. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> also, sounds legit. Tay Ozzy, thank you again for the super chat. She, could she be screwing with us? I would say yes because she's a bitch, but above anything else, she is a lazy heifer. So I don't think fucking with us, uh, if she would have to take down a video, re edit, and re upload a video with three seconds out, like that makes more work for her. I can't imagine her screwing with us in a way that would make more work for herself. Baseline of Chantal, she is a lazy bitch, you know? Yeah. I think the lazy kind of uh, overrides anything else in her mind. Look at my body. Thank you for the super chat. He didn't even get her a new frock. That's right. He did not. He had a stupid uh, bootleg Louis Vuitton cap on, but she couldn't even get a bootleg of Baya for the occasion. But I'm not surprised. They didn't get new clothes during Ramadan or uh, at the end of Ramadan when it was Eid. That's a tradition for Eid. You get new clothes, you get new shoes. Like it's very much a thing. If you're not getting a new outfit for Eid, you're not fucking getting a new outfit any other time of the year. She's broke as shit. So it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Why didn't she get a knockoff cap? You know? <laughs> so stupid. All right. Well, listen, we are caught up in real time in Shantopolis. Like I said, our video, exactly 10 minutes long. Her re-upload, 9 minutes and 57 seconds. There is 3 seconds missing. If Kiwi Farms can't find it and we can't find it, I don't know. One of us is going to have to figure this out. So I don't know if you guys want to sit through it again. I, I'm willing to sit through it again. I'm going to end the screen stream, finish what I was doing, and then pop them up and have them going at the same time. And I will find that goddamn 3 seconds. Cat Girl, thank you for the super chat. She wouldn't fit in it two months. Why bother? Good point. Unless they make it like a 10X and she could grow into it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, y'all, thank you so, so much for coming here and being here on this sort of impromptu quick live tonight. Uh, we're going to be going live tomorrow on Twitch at 2 p.m. Eastern. It's a doozy of a fucking stream. It's the stream where Koki's made his channel. We're kind of meeting the schmuck in his own terms for the first time. What a wreck. This is opening Pandora's box of fucking crack now. <laughs> so uh, I hope to see you all there. If not, if she gives us something to work with, we will come live later on in the day on YouTube. All right? Uh, Y'all, whatever you're doing with your Saturday nights, have a great time. Uh, soak it all up. Please be safe, whatever you're doing. All right? And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.